Hi folks! Today I want to continue my do-it-yourself milling machine project here. In the last video I showed you the uh, z-axis assembly and in today's video I will continue with x and y down here. The connection plate is already floating in the air here and like in the last video I will show you some parts of manufacturing and of course assembling here. So let's get started. Before I can mount the big plate here, I have to mount the X ball screw, of course. And this time I'm pretty sure my method I showed in the last video with this block here, which I can put on the carrier and probe the ball screw like that, uh, will work fine here because on the horizontal axis I don't have to hold it. And yeah, the, that way I can switch back forth and to the back here very quickly and alignment should be very easy like that. Slowly but steady it starts looking like a milling machine. The x-axis ball screw uh, was no problem to mount and everything runs smoothly here. Alignment works fine, so that's done. And yeah, the x-y plate is on there, wasn't really difficult. Next step is to mount the y rails here and align them. To make it a little bit easier to align these two rails here, I will use the same method I used with the uh, other rails here. I will take this 3mm steel rod and 
take it here, uh, put it here next to the rail and also on the other side. And then I have a flathead screws that will go into these threads here. And those flathead screws will push the rod against the linear rail. And that way I should be able to adjust the position of the rail very precisely with those screws. And it's also wedged in between, so it won't move anywhere. Yeah, let's see how good that works. I don't know. So yeah, let's try it. Uh. Oh, the rails are mounted now and the method with the rod and the counter uh, flathead screws worked pretty good. It was quite easy to align it and in this direction I got it to about 2 micrometer against the straight edge here. The second side was also fine to align and I aligned it to the first side here so the rails are parallel and yeah. That's fine. Uh, the next thing is I will mount some uh, reinforcement here for the lower plate. So it is a little bit stiffer because I made this quite uh, thin to not lose too much uh, set height. So I will use this reinforcement here. But as I noticed the plate is bowed a little bit like that just a, a tiny bit so if I cannot correct this this won't be a problem but you can also notice this here when I uh, turn the straight edge here the rotation center of rotation is around in the middle here and uh, come on to see this in the other way I can put the dial indicator on one end here and I can see that I can move it a little bit around 8 micrometer if I press down here the needle moves a little bit and of course also when measuring here against the straight edge I can set it to zero in the middle and here it goes to plus 4 micrometer zero again and on this end also a little bit plus so the rail drops down on the ends here and I want to try to correct this with, with this reinforcement here. I will shim it with some uh, foil here in the middle part and not in the end parts. So it should pull up the, the base plate here when torquing down the screws. So let's see if that helps. Looks like shimming the reinforcement here works perfectly fine. 
I shimmed this, this and this screw and also on the other side the same with the 10 micrometer foil. And now the straight edge rotates around about here. And if I take the other end, it's about here in this section. So I have my rotating points uh, here and here. And that is pretty much the pos position where you want to have them uh, for a straight surface. So I will leave it like that and I will do some measurement when the table is mounted to see if this has some negative influence. But I'm pretty sure this will be fine. Now the X and Y axes are pretty much finished now. Everything moves smoothly and every important part is aligned. I also put in the X ball screw here. Didn't show that because it's pretty much the same like the other two. And yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with that and everything fits together like in the cut model. So a big step forward here. And the next thing will be the table here. But I want to make a separate video about that because I want to show it a little bit more detailed. And this video is already long enough. I want to try to keep them a little bit shorter. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to stay updated, please subscribe. And I hope I see you in the next video.